Big love, folks. Here we go again. We've got our tarot cards in their corresponding tarot tories that are overlaid on the zodiac and the 12 stations of the heavens. Uh, this has a perfect uh, correspondence with that split down the middle of the United States, all focusing on the zero point with the fool card and the Kayen, Kayendu Aki, falling here. That location being the convergence point of the uh, Mississippi River, this Y, the Yod of the... Uh, river goddess Isis, the high priestess. So, I want to start off by reading um, the definition of the word slogan. What I've done today is I've taken the slogans of at least 12 states and I've laid them out. Each one of their actual phrases will relate to the, uh, to the, Trump, the tarot card. Um, but the numerology of the phrase also corresponds, corresponds to the number of the tarot card. Now, that's a whole lot of a coincidence, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, now, I'm not going to get all 12 of them perfect. There's a couple in there where the numerology of the assorted slogans was not a perfect fit, but the phrasing sure is a perfect fit for the archetype that the tarot card represents. So I will state this ahead of time. Uh, every state had at least four slogans, old slogans, new slogans, license plate slogans. And in that uh, aspect, one could accuse me of cherry picking. In fact, I might accuse myself of cherry picking uh, because I did decipher many slogans that were not a fit. Uh, but in these 12 instances, I was able to find very strong correspondences in what the phrase meant or what the numerology pointed to directly landing on the tarot card in question. So I wanted to find slogan. I find this just profound. The word slogan comes from two words combined. Slow, S-L-U-A-G-H, and garum. G-H-A-I-R-M. Uh, the word garum is a cry, a scream. And the word slow is a army, sometimes a dead army, an army of the dead. And so the abbreviated definition would be the battle cry of the dead is a slogan. However, looking even closer at those two words, I see garum contains the word harem, as in Hiram Mabif. And there is a Masonic initiation where they slay Hiram Mabif ritualistically. And so there I see the slaying of Hiram Mabif. I see a Masonic ritual built into the word slogan. So here's the 1961 uh, definitions of the word slogan. A war cry or gathering word of a highland clan in Scotland. Uh, Scottish right, no doubt. Uh, also, you know, highlands, people overlook that pretty quickly. You know, we might be talking about mound, mound gritters, uh, people who prefer, preferred the mountainous regions. They knew the significance of being elevated in geomantic ritual. So th this knowledge goes way back, folks. Okay, so definition two, a word or phrase associated by usage with a pra particular party, a group, uh, etc. A catchphrase, definition three, a brief striking phrase adopted for use in advertising a product, industry, etc. So I'm going to drop down to the word slow. Uh, this is slight different, uh, differently spelled. This is S-L-O-U-G-H, and boy, did this catch my attention. A S-L-O-U-G-H is the skin, commonly cast-off skin, of a snake, cast, 
Number two, the dead mass separated from an ulcer or gangrenous tissues. Number uh, three, to be shed or cast off as diseased tissue. Also to shed or cast off one's skin. An, ex an excrescence, a habit, often with away or off at the end. Uh, and last, to separate in the form of dead matter from the living tissues. To cast off, to discard. And in the game Bridge, to get rid of a card to avoid losing a trick with it. Uh, we're talking about card games. There's your tarot deck, Bridge. Uh, we're also talking about the placenta. We're talking about the bridge between the old self and the new. Uh, the bridge is a initiation, uh, crossing over to the new, uh, to the new round of the life cycle. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. Uh, we will be dealing with strictly the septenary numerology. Uh, I did that for consistency. Uh, otherwise, uh, some could accuse me of cherry picking. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, each state had many slogans and uh, the new, the old, the, uh, you know, the license plate slogan. Here is the septenary cipher. It is your standard numerological cipher found on a Ouija board. I am quite adverse to Ouija board use. It is not what I am into, but I am aware that a lot of people are into it. And it does get use and thrown right in our face and steganographic uh, purpose. So we'll start over here with the Virgo, as we did before. And the uh, one state that is found in Virgo is Connecticut. And there is that cutting of the old skin, the shedding of the old identity. So their slogan that I chose was, we are full of surprises. <laughs> I bet, right? So cut is court. But uh, in order, the word order in court means any of the nine realms. It also means uh, silence, public. Anyways, we've gone over all that. So W, F. O, S, adds up, 4, 6, 2, 6, adds up to 18. 1 plus 8 gives you 9. Look at that. The Hermit card, if I can get focus, is the ninth card. Moving down to uh, uh, D.C., the District of Columbia, the Justice card. Um, and also the Cairo Lion. Having a hard time with focus. Sorry about that, folks. So their slogan was taxation without representation. I'm not even kidding you. The District of Columbia, their slogan is taxation without representation. They dropped off the no from the Revolutionary War. So they tax us without representing us. And they boast about it publicly, throwing it in our face. Uh, I couldn't find any numerological correspondences there. Uh, but I just found that so uh, disrespectful. <laughs> So Florida, the flower rider, you know, they, is, uh, they are the sunshine, sunshine state. And that's a SS, which is a 6-6. Six, six. You add that up, you get the 12th, uh, 12th card. 12th card is the hanged man. And the hanged man is there in Scorpio. Moving on to Sagittarius. Uh, this one was pretty tricky. Uh, I went to Alabama and I found their share the wonder was their slogan. I took all the numbers, uh, 6, 7, and 4, added up, got 17. Add the 1 and the 7, you get the 8. And that is technically uh, not the number of either of the two tarot cards that go in Sagittarius, but the Magician has an 8, an infinity sign over his head. Also, I would point out the Magician card is card number 1. And Alabama, I do believe, is the only state with an A. With a, with a one, one A, the first. Oh, Arizona. Uh, Arizona was the last. Well, would you look at that? We've got the A, L, and the A, Z, going back to the two goats. 
which uh, for more on that, go back to my Diction of Aries video, The Two Goats. Uh, one remains, one is cast out. Uh, the Alpha and the Omega goats. So, moving forward to uh, the Capricorn, uh, I chose Louisiana. Uh, there, uh, Louisiana is where New Orleans is. Uh, New Orleans has a lot of Capricorn sacrificial ritual energy. You know, Katrina, we talked about that. Well, uh, Louisiana, their, their slogan was, Come as you are, leave different. And that is absolutely, in my opinion, uh, speaking to that January, the, the January, the end of the old year and the beginning of a new. Coming as you are, leaving different. And I put AZ. AZ is the goat. As is goat in Hebrew. And that is come as you are, AZ. And when you take these uh, LA, Louisiana, Alabama, we're dealing with two pillars on either side of this dividing markation here at the zero point of the fool. Well, numerologically, LA and AL is exactly the same as BAAL. And anybody who knows what I'm talking about, that should uh, spark your imagination pretty, pretty good. Moving on to uh, Lone Star State. That's a... 266 six, adds up to 14. Add the 1 and the 4, you get a 5. 5 is the number of the pentagram, the number of a man. Uh, but that is the star card is in the uh, sign of Aquarius. Also, the tower is in the sign of Aquarius. You know, the twin towers were definitely uh, sparking off the age of Aquarius. Uh, I found quite a few more correspondences looking at the uh, founding date of many of these uh, regions. Here we have 1-6 of 1907. That's a 7. That's a 7. T tower card is the 16. 1-6. Let's see. Focus is kind of bad. Sorry about that, folks. 1-6 is the tower card. Adds up to a 7. There were a lot of 7s in the 9-11 ritual. Building 7. Tower 7. Uh... Also, New Mexico was founded on January 6th, which is Advent. We know, we all know about January 6th. That's a tower. Advent, 1-6, 16th card, all towers. Towers are made to collapse. The phallus is a creation that will collapse once it's served its purpose. It's a usury. Moving forward, uh, Arizona is goat once again. And Arizona was the last state, uh, 48th state, before we moved out of the territories, off the map. So that is the Alpha Omega, AZ. And there we are in the Pisces, Piscean section of the sky. And in Pisces, you know, we get that California, the Golden State, the end of the cycle, excuse me. And that is the Empress card where the sun is setting behind her back. Um, Arizona, their slogan I chose was the Grand Canyon State, and that's a 2736. Adds up to 18. The moon card is the 18th card. Sorry the focus is so bad here, folks. I hope it's not too much of a problem. So 27 and 36. 27 is the number of modern Hebrew lang no letters in their alphabet. They added 5 to the 22 that they had, to have a total of 27. 27 is also the number of days in a solar month. That's how many days it takes the sun to rotate. And 36, that's just full circle. We're definitely dealing with the full circle. The full circle. So, moving on from there, I wanted to bring in Colorado. Colorado's slogan, Pike's Peak or Bust. And that's a 3 3 two, two. And I actually, you know, you could, I could do this as a three times three plus two uh, times two. And that would get you the 13, which reduces to a four. And the emperor card, emperor card is number four. It's hard to see that. Sorry about that, folks. We're working on some new equipment. Uh, but also, Colorado is a 303 area code. 
And there's your 33, your Masonic 33, and your Masonic Master Builder 22. You're also dealing with the 322. And that is the first day after the spring equinox is 322. It's the first day of the new beginning of the new cycle. So, and uh, we also have Nevada. Their slogan is Battleborn. That's a two and a two. The master Builder gives you the four. The Emperor, Master Builder, number four card. Going forward to Montana, uh, the last best place. TLBP is 7223. There's your 223. Two, That's a uh, the European derivative of 322 two, uh, in terms of that uh, spring equinox. But you got your 72. That's a pentagram. And your 23. That's a five-pointed star. The whole thing, this is highly Kabbalistic. That is the, probably the most Kabbalistic sequence of numbers. Gives you the 14. That's your uh, minor arcana is four... Uh, Four suits of 14 reduces to a five, and five is the Hierophant card, card number five. Sorry about the blur. I'm not getting a very good visual, but moving on to Minnesota, their, their slogan, Explore Minnesota, E-M, five and one adds to six. Twin cards, the twin card is number six. On to the chariot, which big up to my man Davin for pointing out that the chariot uh, includes Detroit, and that is the uh, motor uh, capital of the world. Detroit, chariot, bada boom. I went with the Indiana slogan, uh, which is the crossroads of America. Let's look at what America, or Indiana, points to that zero mark. It points right there to that cross, the crossroads of America. This is old knowledge. I'm just stumbling upon it now. And when you do the numerology of the crossroads of America, you get a three, two, one. The next in that sequence is zero, the fool. They're pointing at the zero mark, the fool, the crossroads. Three, two, one, zero. On to Ohio. Ohio's slogan was birth of aviator pioneers and that gives you a two two one three adds up to eight and the strength card uh in leo is the eighth month the eighth card she also has a bit of a uh there it is there it is infinity sign above her head and that brings us full circle back to the kinetic cut you know cutting the line right there at that 33 degree mason dixon line folks i hope this is making sense to you because you know bit by bit the more i look at this the more sense it makes to me and the more i realize how these archetypes can and will be used against us in the future you know in our media you know the medians were the magicians of the old world and i'll be damned if they're not still working us and playing those Babylon tricks on our co collective consciousness. Don't be fooled, y'all. Keep it strong. Much love.